Hey everyone, Sheila here from Life of Pets. So today we're gonna to take a look at an ick outbreak we have had in one of our tanks. And I have actually managed to get some really great footage of the ick itself on the fish. I used my macro lens and I'm really pleased about that because I do get a lot of comments on how to look for ick or what does ick look like. And this is some amazing footage where you can actually see it on the fish. So I'm just gonna talk about what has happened in the tank and why I think we've ended up with ick. And you will be able to see some of the up close shots. So let's get on with the video and let me show you the tank and what's going on. So we are in the process of treating them and I'm gonna try and get some shots of what it is like. Unfortunately, these little guys are very, very irritated with it and they're just moving way too fast for me to get them. So I can't get it. And they seem to be the only ones Although I have noticed that the Denison barbs have got just a few spots now. And so I have started doing the heat treatment on this tank. The puffer fish don't usually do very well with medications. And we did have an ick outbreak with them when we first got them. And we treated with Riddick and it actually didn't do anything. Now, as many of you know, we have used that in the past and it has been absolutely fantastic. We then also tried Ick X and that didn't work either. And so we finally went to the heat treatment of raising the temperature really high and that is what took care of it. We've gone several months now and no issues and we put some new fish in this tank. I did quarantine them, but unfortunately it doesn't look like the quarantine process for whatever reason fully worked because it was only about a week after adding the fish that we've started with the ick. So I think that it must have been the new fish that have brought it into the tank. And so now we are dealing with a really severe ick outbreak. What I think I'm gonna do is try and feed the fish and then that way hopefully they will slow down, but they are so irritated with this. It is quite bad. Unfortunately, I didn't notice it until yesterday and yesterday there were not that many spots but today there are so many on them that i just feel so bad for these guys so i'll just go and get some food and put that in the tank and then hopefully once they've eaten that will actually slow them down okay so i have got some food to drop into the tank there we go let's just close that over and then i'll move the light so hopefully we can see a bit better and then once they've eaten, they usually do slow down somewhat. So maybe I'll be able to get some shots of the ick on the fish, but I just can't believe we're dealing with a second outbreak. This is something that over the years of fish keeping, I think we've only ever had ick maybe two or three times. And this is the third time now for this tank uh, over the last year. I don't know there, you can see the ick all over that one right there. And that I would say has doubled from when I spotted it. If not, actually it's probably tripled from when I spotted it yesterday. So we have put the tank temperature right up now and hopefully come tomorrow we will start actually seeing an improvement when you use the heat treatment it can take a few days for the effects to show so i am going to monitor them very very carefully and i'm treating obviously the whole tank because we can't just assume that it's just one lot of fish that have got it if there's fish got it then they're all going to have it this is the culprit right here and i do have a story that goes with this fish and i still haven't done the video but i'm assuming that this one here is the culprit because this is the new fish to the tank and actually you're very fortunate to see it usually they don't show themselves until night time so this is great that it's actually come out okay so here are the up close shots of the fish with the ick and as you can see it basically just looks like a lot of grains of salt on them and they are so bad at the moment i just feel so awful for the fish and that i didn't catch it sooner as well which is not like me at all because i do look at the fish closely every day but sometimes these things do happen those of you that are wondering the lens i will leave a link to that in the description box below because i always get asked so many questions when 
when we do the really up close pictures or video so I will leave a link to that in the description box below Thankfully all the fish are still wanting to eat and they are all still very lively at this point so I'm hoping that recovery will be quick once we've actually got rid of it. Alright guys well that is it for this video. I will do an update at the end of the week. I may do a live stream. I'm not quite sure how I'll do it but I will do an update on how the tank is progressing. Like I say, hopefully within just a few days, we will see a big difference, but that will remain to be seen. And I'm just really hoping that the fish will be okay. We have helped dealt with ick before, but I have always caught it a lot sooner than this. So I am a little concerned just because we've never dealt with ick as such a bad outbreak. So hopefully these guys will be okay. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Unfortunately, sometimes there are issues with fish keeping and this can be one of them. You know, we all go through different things at different times and we all learn from those as well. So I would definitely quarantine for longer. I did actually quarantine for four weeks and it obviously wasn't enough. So I will be extending that when I do any other fish to go into this tank because we had such a balanced tank, everybody was really healthy and now we're dealing with this. So it's just the way it goes, but I have learned a lesson and I will make sure that in the future that we do a better job. All right guys, thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed to this channel and would like to see more videos like this, then please do so and we'll see you next time.